Hey guys, it's Crystal. I'm finally back with a new video. Today's video is a DIY. Um, I'm basically um, showing you how I painted a set of bunk beds that we purchased for my girls. Um, keep in mind that I have not completed the whole bunk bed set. I've only worked on the bottom portion. Um, so just use this as a guideline into um, painting furniture. Uh, if you like these type of videos, please uh, thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing and welcome. And yeah, I guess that's it. If you want to know how I painted the bottom portion of the bunk bed, please keep watching. And just a little heads up, um, once I'm completely yeah, done with the that. bunk bed and the room, I will have a video up in how I did all the decorating and all that stuff and organization. So yeah. Uh, I guess that's it for now, and let's get started with the video. Bye. A little disclaimer, I'm not an expert, so please use this as a guideline and always do your research before starting a new project. That's what I always do, and so yeah, thanks guys. So here is the first part of the bunk beds. We disassembled it. This is one that we have not sanded yet. I don't know if you can see the sheen on it. We think there's only a coat of polyurethane on it, so um, we went ahead and just sanded everything. So this is the top bunk that we haven't touched yet with sanding. You could kind of see the shininess on it. So that's the first one. And actually, this is the bottom portion. As you can see, we sanded it. You can't really see the sheen anymore. It's more of a bare wood. Um, my husband did mainly all the sanding with a this little hand sander and a, he started with the 80 grit then went down I don't know if he went down to 150 I'm gonna ask him I'll put a link right here but he did use a 120 and then finally he used a 220 which I don't have here um, and then I went back and did all the little stuff like around here and in between here. He did so I went and did all the stuff that um, he couldn't really get in with the handheld sander. So I went back. So I went in between here first with the 120 by hand, try and get the majority of it done with that, and then I went in with the a 220 grit. I just cut a piece from here and went. To in between the bars and right here to make sure everything was nice and smooth so it's really nice and bare now and yeah that's the first part of the process. Here Primate I'm actually going to go back with a Swiffer. I actually did a rag first to take all the sawdust off but I like using the Swiffers just to get the extra dust that I did not get. I've done this before when I um, painted our laundry room, which that's something I still want to show you guys um, when it's done, so keep a lookout for that one. I don't know when, when it's going to come out, when we're ever going to finish that room, but uh, keep, an, uh, keep an eye out for that video. So I'm just going back with this and getting all the extra dust that we didn't get, which you can kind of see. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. So yeah, little tip for you guys. So the next step is going to be priming the bed. I'm going to use this cover sting primer. Um, and then we will eventually do a coat of the Bare Premium Plus Ultra in semi-gloss enamel. I actually have a smaller can already for my last project, so I just bought an extra can for... Um, whatever else we will need because I don't think we'll have enough. Um, painter's tape for some little edging that I'm going to do. Some sticks. Uh, I brought an extra roller. I had one but it looked kind of eh. So I got another one and we'll see if I like the brush better or the roller better. We'll, we'll see when I start painting. So this is the brush that I got. I actually have a I think 2.0 um, one, but I wanted another. Okay, I wanted to get a larger brush, so we'll see if I like the brush strokes better versus the um, roller. Okay, guys, so today I am doing my primer. 
is with this one. Uh, definitely want to work outside with this type of primer because it is a strong smell. So we're in my garage where it's well ventilated. This was my first board that I did. As you can see, it's not as bright of a white because I didn't really mix it well. But after I mixed it, it turned out that color. So I'm going to go over this one. I'll probably do co two coats of primer on the whole bed and then two coats of regular paint. I will be definitely doing some sanding in between the priming and the painting. Because some areas, as you can see right here, I don't know if I can zoom in. It's a little bit thick with paint. So I'm going to sand this out and um, make that look a little bit better before I actually paint it. So I'm going to do one more coat of the primer on everything. Mama. There's the headboard on that one. I do have another headboard that I haven't worked on yet. As you can see, I put some tape inside of the holes. That way, no paint went inside the holes for the hardware. Um, hopefully, it doesn't mess up when I take it out when I'm all done. If it does, I'll probably just sand it down and fix it up a little bit. You shouldn't be able to see it anyways once the hardware is in and it's put together. Just using my brush back and forth and trying to smooth everything out. That one I have leveled with little wood blocks, but I don't have any more. So this one I'm just laying flat, and once it dries in, I'll do the other one. So I'm just doing small strokes, little by little. So, as you can tell, it definitely looks better. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be sanding all this little excess paint drops on all the boards and on those. I already did a little bit on that one right there, so it's nice and smooth. So, I'm just using a... 20 by 20 sandpaper. I just cut a piece that I needed and uh, I'm going to sand that down. I'm going to mix my paint, this one, this little tiny paint. It's frost color. I'm going to mix it in the big one just because I forgot to ask them to put, um, to make the same color as this one. So I'm just going to mix what I have in this small can in here and hopefully it will come out the way I want it. I, I really don't care what color white is, white the bed is as long as it's white. Um, I just wanted, wanted to use up what I had already, so I'm just going to go ahead and mix this and this together and see what kind of white I come up with. So first we'll just do a little bit of sanding here. Here you can see all this little excess stuff. So I'm just going to sand that down. It's latex paint, type of paint, so it comes off really easily. So, Gonna do that and get a rag and wipe it down, and then we'll start with the actual paint color. So, I'm not really too worried about this side of the board because this is the inside where the mattress lays on, so you probably won't even see it. Hey guys, so today I'm doing painting. Um, I did one side of the board, the main side, with just a roller brush. And now I'm doing the inside of the boards. And um, I'm not too worried about this side just because it's the inside where the mattress lays in. But I am going to go ahead and do one coat of paint just so it'll look nice. Um, I found it easier to use a brush in between this area and on this side first and then go back with the roller brush. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm using my big old brush because my other little brush was still dirty from yesterday. It's the Purdy... Um, ah, come on, focus. This one right here. And I'm really liking this brush. I kind of wish I had a smaller brush though. But I do like it. It's been working fairly well and the paint goes on smoothly. I don't know, it could be the paint too um, that I'm working with. It doesn't feel sticky or gunked up like the primer one that I used over there for priming. But so I'm just going to go back through right here and paint all of this. And then on the other side I'm going to paint it as well with the brush only. 
And then like I said, I'm going to go back with the roller brush to do the finishing touches. I find that it looks way more better than with brushes. You don't see the brush marks as um, much if you do with the roller. So yeah, that is what I'm doing. Now I'm going back with the roller brush to make it nice and smooth. It really makes a difference. You don't see the brush marks using this. I like the finish that way way better. Here I decided to use a small roller in between the rails and also use um, a small crafting sponge brush to go um, right in between the railing. And here's the finished product. Sorry that it, my girl's bedding is not on. It was laundry day. And plus, I don't want to give away the reveal of their room. So, yeah, I'm really happy the way it turned out. And my daughters are excited to have their first bottom part of the bunk bed. And now we got to work on the second half. So, thanks guys for watching. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.